KCTV, the community-minded station. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. If you don't want less, then you want... A raise? No, more. Mary Tyler Moore. A slang term for something desirable is the word <laughs> girl. <laughs> no, keen. Keen and win. <laughs> oh. And I'm Tom Kennedy. Let's play You Don't Say. Mary Tyler Moore, Mr. Keenan Wynn, and now let's meet our players, our current champion uh, over here, Kyle Brown, a law student, and our challenger, Connie White, a housewife. Would you welcome them back, please? Good to have you both back with us today. All set for another day. Now, Jay Stewart, please tell our viewers what the first name will be. Voted Best Newcomer of 1946, still Best Singer, Pearl Bailey. Now, that is the name, the first name that our players will be going for. And we'll play, you don't say, with Mary Tyler Moore and Keenan Wynn right after this. An age of violence spawned a breed of violent men, but also men like the Virginian, who of necessity learned to live with and cope with that violence. Each Wednesday, the Virginian comes to you in color at 7.30, 6.30 Central Time on NBC. These stories, inspired by perhaps the greatest of all Western novels, star Lee J. Cobb and James Drury in the title role. Following The Virginian, it's that consistently entertaining hour with that master musical craftsman, Perry Como, weaving a web of musical strands and festive fun. Also in color, at 9, 8 Central Time. But don't go away, because at 10, 9 Central Time, there's still another kind of entertainment coming your way. Stories of The Eleventh Hour. Wendell Corey and Jack King star in intriguing dramas of people's deepest emotions in The Eleventh Hour. Wednesday evenings are evenings to remember when you stay tuned to NBC. The object of you don't say is to convey a famous name to your partner by making up a complete sentence but leaving off the very last word. The sentence itself may not refer in any way to the famous person. Only that very last word can be a clue to the identity and that of course is the word you don't say. Now, if you hear this sound, that means that your clue is unacceptable according to our rules. Each famous name gives you one point, three points as a game. Our champion, Kyle Brown, a law student from El Segundo, California, has won $800. He has lost one game. Our challenger, Miss Connie White, Mrs. Connie White, a former stewardess, now a housewife from Manhattan Beach, California, has won no money, but she has also lost one game. The score, Kyle two and Connie one. Mary and Kyle are up first. Our audience has already seen the first name, so you, Mary Tyler Moore, and Keenan Wynn, look at that first famous name, and remember your clue word must not be a proper noun. Mary Tyler Moore, first clue. All right. Um, if a girl had a beautiful smile and her teeth were very shiny and white, you might say that each tooth was like a... Pearl. Yes. Yeah. Uh... Pearl, pearl, which pearl? Pearl... I second. Pearl... Bailey. He's ruined your whole day, boy. <laughs> I had such a wonderful second clue. <laughs> what was it going to be? Sink, I was going to say. Sink. Sink. That's a wonderful clue. She said kitchen, no bail. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Oh, I thought you meant Pearl Billy was a sinker. Well, anyway, you've won a, a game here, and that's another hundred dollars. And now look, and you—that's your second loss for you, Connie White. You have not won any money so far, but we have, of course, very nice prizes for all of the players on you. Don't say, don't we, Jay Stewart? That's right, Tom. All contestants receive two quality products from Schick. The Turner Power Electric Shaver works with or without a cord, and the Petite Salon Hair Dryer in a smart travel case, both by Schick. Thank you very much, Jay. And Connie White, thank you, ma'am, for playing You Don't Say. Thank you, dear. All right, Mr. Connie.
Kyle Brown. Look at our bonus board once again. Which clue for $300? I'll try number three. Number three. Could we take a look at that? An angry person may let loose his... Five seconds now. Okay, Kyle. I have to have a name. If you do not have a name, then uh, we'll, go, we'll go on to the next clue for $200. I'll, I'll give it a try. Amy, Amy Simple McPherson. No, that's not it. I'm sorry. Which clue next for $200? I'll try number uh, one. All right, number one. Uh, he tried to steal third. Base. All right, five seconds. Okay, have you two come up, uh, Kyle? Do you have a name? Richard Basehart. Uh, I have to have a name. Richard Basehart. I'm sorry, that's not it. Now, could we see clue number two? This is for $100. A piece of a skeleton is a... And now you have another five seconds all together. Uh, you're nodding your head. What is the name? Basil Rathbone. Basil Rathbone is it for $100. <laughs> Yes, indeed. He tried to steal third base. A piece of skeleton, of course, is a bone. An angry person may uh, let loose his wrath. Basil Rathbone. Congratulations. You are now up to $1,000. Now, Jay Stewart, would you please tell us who submitted that entry? Gladly, Tom. It was sent in by Thomas H. Eubanks, Jr. of 1409 South Mini, Apartment 7, Santa Ana, California. Thank you very much, sir. And now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, if you will, our brand new challenger. She is a housewife from Pomona, California. Is it Mrs. Mrs. Cynthia Long, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> welcome to the show, Cynthia, and I'll, uh, I'll put you to work right away. Look at the first famous name. You do the same, Kyle Brown, and you people at home, look. Handsome, dashing, sophisticated playboy, William Bendix. Okay, Kyle, you won the last one, so you begin this one, first clue. <clears throat> when a river makes a turn, the river goes around a... Bend? Bend. 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 Yeah, five seconds, bend, and please bend, watch the bend. gestures. Bend. bend. Okay, time is up, and now, Mrs. Cynthia Long, first clue for you. Um, when a person is uh, considering leaving his belongings to his family, he will go to a lawyer and draw up a... Will. Mm -hmm. Will Ben... Will Ben... Will... Will Ben... Will Ben... Will... Will Ben... Will... Five seconds. Will Ben... Will Ben... Will Ben... Will Ben... Will Ben... Will Ben... Your time is up. Back to Kyle Brown. When a... When a person has a shovel and he's turning earth, you would say that that person... Digs? Digs will bend. Ben will... Ben digs will. <laughs> Benjamin, Five Ben digs. Ben Benedict, Ben digs. I'm Please sorry, your time is up. Oh, gee, Liz, I am sorry, but you heard the time signal. Your time was up. <laughs> And we come over now, and do we go ahead, she, because she came out with it, actually. I was going to say, I think we have to disqualify the name, I because, heard it. yes. I heard it. After the bell, she said, of course, the name, and it was William oh, Bendy. Everybody oh. it. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, but we must stick with that bell, obviously, in order to be fair to everyone. So this time, I'll ask you, Mary Tyler Moore, and you, Mr. Keenan Wynn, to look at our next famous name, and we'll share it with you people at home. World heavyweight boxing champ, the Vanessa Mahler, Jack Dempsey. Okay, Mary, could we have your first clue? Okay. If I had a flat tire, and I wanted to change it, I would lift my automobile with the aid of a... Jack. Jack, um... Take your pick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Five seconds to take your pick. Jack Benny. That's a good try, but that's not it. Okay, Keenan. Uh, when things are wet, but not quite that wet. That's the green house. We call it... Dance? Jack Dance? Jack Dempsey. Yes! <laughs> All right, 
right, the score is one to nothing. And we'll be back to play some more of our game in just a moment. First, let's look at some important homemaking tips from Johnson's Wax. Remember, just like you, it's very true. Your floor has a complexion, too. And nothing guards your floor's complexion better than clear floor wax. Because clear never yellows. Most ordinary wax can yellow the complexion of your floor, like this tinted glass. But clear dries clear as this clean glass, never yellows. Let clear guard your floor's complexion. And now, another shining idea from Johnson's Wax. In the time it takes to change records, Pledge and your dust cloth can clean and wax the top of this cabinet. Watch. Just spray and dust. Johnson's Pledge gives wax beauty instantly as you dust. Picks up dirt, smudges, fingerprints that ordinary dusting can't touch. All done. And look, Pledge left a real wax shine that dried instantly. And the more often you use Pledge, the better your furniture looks. Try Johnson's Pledge. Okay, the score is one to nothing. Favor our, our challenger over here, Mrs. Cynthia Long. Cynthia, you and Kyle, now look at our next famous name, and we'll share it with you. One of the ten best money-making stars of all time, Myrna Loy. Cynthia, first clue. Uh, ladies wear a, a type of dress, which is a sarong or a cloth, which they wear around their... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, just a second. I don't want to check on it. Yeah? All right. Uh, yeah, five seconds. Uh, uh, waist? Your time is up. I'll have to ask you about that later. All right, Kyle. <coughs> um, if you're not a girl, then you're a... Boy. Boy. Boyster, boy, boyson, boy, boyson, boyson. <laughs> Time is up. Okay, Cynthia. Uh, when the three wise men came uh, to pay homage to the Christ, they bore gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Boyer, boy, boy, myrrh, myrrh boy, myrrh boy, myrrh boy, myrrh boy, myrrh boy, myrrh boy. Uh, okay, time is up. Back to Kyle. If you're telling an untruth, then you are telling a... Lie. Merly boy. <laughs> Merly? Five seconds. Merly boy. <laughs> Mer Merly boy. Okay, now, this is your time is up. This is the third and final round. Okay, Cynthia Long. All right, uh... A pecan is a type of... Nut. Merly <laughs> <laughs> boy nut. Merly <laughs> boy nut? No. Boy merly nut. No. Five seconds. Merly <laughs> nut boy. <laughs> All right, Kyle, last time around. <laughs> When you recline on a bed, you lie. Merl lie. Mer lie. Mer lie. Five seconds. Marilyn. Mer. Merly. Marley. Oh, I'm sorry. The name. Are you ready for this one? Yeah. Myrna Law. Oh. Oh. Now, you said a girl. I was going to ask. I like the idea. I can't throw over any scores on that one, but boy, we had a lot of fun. We're going to ask you now, Mary Tyler Loy. <laughs> we look at the next famous name in YouTube. Paratroopers yelled about this Apache Indian chief, Geronimo. All right, Keenan, <laughs> first close. <laughs> That's not a, that's not, no, that's not a, uh, 
quite often in funny papers to indicate what an animal says when he is mad. They have a little blurb over his head and it says... Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Five uh, seconds. Arf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your time is up. Okay. <laughs> All right. If a group of people were viewing a movie, and this might this group of people might be teenagers, uh, and they didn't like it, they were booing and hissing. Another word for booing and hissing might be to... Mm. Uh, 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 can? Five uh, seconds, please. Uh, 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 yes? No. Uh, okay, mm. we're back to you, Keenan. If a cow did not feel very well, who in good health would make a much larger ejaculation, but not being too well, he would do a rather short. A cow says, moo. Five seconds. <laughs> what did you say? No, I'm sorry, that's not it. Okay, Mary. Um, in driving a car, you use. You shift your car, and you move each... Gear? Gur. Gur? Uh, gur, uh, gray, uh, grand? Uh, Five grand? seconds. Uh, gur. Gur. Uh, okay, this is the final round. I hate to see it end, but the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, when, when you're in the water next to a float and you get out of the water, you get up, you get out of the water, you get dry, you get <laughs> five, you seconds. float, you get out of the water, you get. <laughs> Okay, now, Mary, good luck. If Last it's time. not off, then it's... On. Gur on. Gur, gur on. Geronimo. What was that about the float, Keenan? It was too much to get out of the water to get onto the float, but it was too involved. I should have done something with two But I got an idea from what you said. But you know, I was so involved with that bikini thing. <laughs> I didn't say anything about clothes after that. And now here is an important word for you about a unique space program. Hey, this is Rocket Ship X2. What's all that turbulence on Earth? They must be squeezing the air out of the Kleenex tissues again. Yes, they're squeezing the air out of Kleenex tissues again to create the Kleenex High Count Economy Box. Same size as ordinary boxes, but holds 50% more tissues. When other boxes run out, you still have this many tissues left in the High Count Economy Box, one of three space-saving boxes from Kleenex. Categorically speaking, ladies love soft, pretty things. Like Delsey bathroom tissue. It's the very softest on the shelf. Let's find out why. Delsey's made from cellucotton, that's why. As anyone who looks closely can see, there's a definite difference in Delsey. Scientific tests prove Delsey's doubly strong. Double strength, cellucotton softness. Why ladies choose Delsey is plain to see. All right, the score is one to one. We're having a lot of fun, so let's go right along. And Mr. Kyle Brown and Mrs. Cynthia Long look at the next famous name in YouTube. Famed wife of James Madison, Dolly Madison. Kyle, a, first clue. A small girl has a favorite toy. It's a small replica of a human being with long ringlets. It's dressed. 
And this is called her little... Doll? Doll? Doll. Um, Dolly? Five Dolly? Seconds. Dolly Madison. <laughs> Okay, Mary, Keenan, next famous name. You look, please. Spangler Arlington Brew from Philly, Nebraska. <laughs> now he's actor Robert Taylor. And Mary, we're back with you. First quote. A man who makes a suit for you is called a... Taylor. <laughs> Which Taylor? <laughs> Five seconds. Elizabeth Taylor. That's a good try, but the audience doesn't know, so I guess it isn't. No, it isn't. All right, then. Keenan. No coaching now. Somebody who steals something. Another word is... Sir Robert Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well. Hey, things are getting right down to the wire. The score is two to two. Whoever gets the next name will win the game. And so we're going to ask now. You, Cynthia, and Kyle, look at the next famous name. You, too. Secretary of State from 1949 to 1953, Dean Acheson. All right, Cynthia, first clue, please. When someone sneezes, he says... <laughs> achoo! 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 Actually, that was a good clue. You didn't come up with it, but that's all right. Okay, Kyle. The head of a school, especially a college or a law school, is called a... Dean? Dean Acheson? Well, oh, that sort of does it. That gives you, Cynthia Long, your very first loss. That gives you another game, Mr. Kyle Brown. You're up to $1,100 right now. That's really going some. Look over at our bonus board now. Four, three hundred dollars. Which clue first, Kyle? I'll try number two this time. Okay, could we see it, please? Anything that is flammable will... Five seconds. Well, okay, do you have a name, Kyle? The word is burn, and I'll yes. guess Catherine Hepburn. Uh, that's a good try, but I'm sorry that is not right. Which clue next for two hundred dollars? Number three. Number three. Cardiac refers to the region of the... It's the heart, uh, I guess, Sarah Bernhardt. You guess Sarah Bernhardt, and you guess rightly for $200. Oh, Could we see the first clue, please? Clue number one, if you apologize, you say, I'm sorry, sorry, Bernhardt. Okay, you are now up to $1,300. And Jay Stewart, tell us oh, who submitted the entry. <laughs> right, Tom, it was sent by C.O. Harper of 3737 Landis Avenue, San Diego, California. So he'll receive a two-volume set of the new World Book Dictionary by the publishers of World Book Encyclopedia, a leading reference for home, school, and family. Now, if you'd like to submit a name for our bonus board, select the famous name, write three you don't say clues for it, and send it to us on a postcard. Remember, it must be a postcard. Send your bonus entry to, you don't say, Hollywood 28, California. Cards are selected at random, become the property of the program, and none can be returned. And now, once again, Tom Kennedy. Thank you very much, Jay. Mary Tyler Moore, Dean... <laughs> Dean. <laughs> Dean Atchison. Dean and Wynn. Look at the next famous name in you, too. Me? Yes. He led the Mormon migration from Illinois to Utah. Brigham Young. All right, Mary, we begin with you first clue. In the Navy... If a man, while on shipboard, has committed a crime or an offense, he is most likely thrown in the... Brig. Uh... Brig... Bridget? Brig... Brigadier? Five seconds. Uh... Brig... Uh... Brig... Brig... Uh. Time is up. Okay, Keenan Wynn. I'm not old, I'm... Young. No. Young Brig? Brigham Young? You did it. Yeah. What did you say no for over here? You was, you meant what no? And you want to know? I see. okay. Anyway, the score is one to nothing. Okay, Cynthia and Kyle. Yes, look at the next famous name and you too. 
highly publicized U.S. Senator Estes Kefauver. Cynthia, first clue. If something is, is not good and not better, it is the... It is the best, best, uh, <clears throat> best, best, uh, be, uh, uh, by second. Bester, best, best door, but... Your time is up. Okay, Kaya. Mm -hmm. um, the small metallic thing that you open your door with is called a... Key. Best key? Best key. Betsy? Five seconds. Best key. Best key. Time is up. Cynthia. The number that comes after four is... Five. Best key five. Best... <laughs> best five. Best... Best key... Five best key seconds. five. Best key... <laughs> That's T5. Oh, T5. 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 Uh, 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 T5. T5. Well, as a matter of fact, you can... Adolf T4. Adolf T4. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your time is up, and the time of the show is up coincidentally, so we will give you the name. It is Estes. Keith Alver, which she was going for with that. But you were getting very close to it. We'll be back with more if you don't say with Mary Tyler Moore and Mr. Keenan Wynn right after this. Tuesday night on NBC. The strength and decisions of Jim Redigo, played by Richard Egan, control the vast Garrett Ranch. Cattle, oil, timber, and determination create an empire where strong men battle nature and sometimes each other under the pressures of big business. Maybe you can run the ranch. See how long you'll survive in a pressure cooker I live in every day of my life. Richard Egan stars with Charles Bronson as Moreno, his top hand, tough and reliable. Ryan O'Neill as Tal Garrett, young but competent. And Warren Banders as Chuck, their easygoing ranch hand. For exciting outdoor adventure, watch Empire. In color, Tuesday at 8.30, 7.30 Central Time. Then at 9.30, 8.30 Central Time. Drama. Action. Suspense. The Dick Howell Theater. Great stars of Hollywood and Broadway and outstanding stories that capture the full impact of life. Entertainment at its best. Empire in color, followed by the Dick Powell Theater, Tuesday night on NBC. Okay, last week when you were sitting at home telling Lee Marvin what a simple thing it was, well, now I'd like... I'd take it like... back, I'd take it back. <laughs> it's not simple. Lee, believe me, it's not <laughs> No, it, it, it's a lot of fun, though. We've had a lot of fun today, and we'll look forward to tomorrow when Kyle, Cynthia, Keenan, Mary Tyler Moore, and yours truly will be back. My name is Tom Kennedy, and remember now, it is not what you say that counts. But what you don't say. See you tomorrow. You don't say is a Ralph Andrews, Bill Eggerman production. Rising and promotional fees furnished by the Dick Corporation and Wilbur. Tune in tonight for the first color presentation of the Dick Powell Theater. Charles Pickford heads the big all-star cast of the dreaded tycoon. Tonight at 9.30 on the Dick Powell Theater. 8.30 Central Time, in color, here on NBC. Now stay tuned for the match game, next on NBC. This program was...